cycling for beginners over 60. If you're over 60 and trying to get into cycling, then it can seem like quite a daunting prospect. So today we're going to look at some of the benefits that you can get from cycling. We will then see what you actually need to start cycling after that. Throughout this video, we will examine some of the best bikes for older riders, the gear you should have, and where to find some great beginner bike routes. Through this video, I hope I have been able to convince you over the course of this video that cycling in your 60 seconds is not just possible, but also hugely enjoyable and a great way to stay healthy throughout your golden years. Isn't it true that you're procrastinating? Let's be honest here. It won't be like all the other videos you've seen about getting into cycling as you age. I'll start off quite adamantly. It's like the teacher you had when you were a kid. You know, the one that made you run around the track while it was freezing cold until you collapsed in a sweaty heap near the finish line. But don't worry, because then I'll transform into someone like your old Uncle Tom, or your best friend Mary, and I'll be nice and comforting to you. Interested? Let's get back on track. You are procrastinating. You want to begin cycling despite being over 60 years old. Reality is, you're sat on your backside, reading article after article, watching video after video. There are titles such as how to get into cycling when you're over 60, those things won't get you back into cycling. The following is another fact. Beginning is scary. What about you? Apparently, people over 60 who cycle can reduce their chances of suffering a heart attack by as much as 50%. That is a huge reduction. Would you be interested in making a deal? Get off the couch, put down the computer, and take up cycling. There will be a learning curve. In the beginning, it might seem silly and unnatural. You will reap great rewards. However, the study at King's College London found that fit amateur cyclists aged 55 to 79 were physically much younger than most people their age. Take a look at a few more reasons why you should take up cycling in your 60 seconds if that sounds appealing to you. Next, we'll look at how you can begin. You can then get off the couch. But first, talk to your doctor. A doctor should be consulted if you've never cycled, if it's been a while since you've cycled, or if you don't do any other regular exercise. Prior to starting any new exercise program, it's really important to make sure you are healthy enough. Even if your doctor advises you to avoid cycling on the road at the beginning, you can always start indoors on a stationary bike. Spend some time on an exercise bike to build strength and stamina and you'll be ready to cycle outdoors. Consult your doctor before beginning any exercise program. Benefits of bike riding for seniors. Taking up cycling is a great idea no matter your age. Cycling was great when you were a child. You're just riding your bike like when you were a kid. Even if you have never cycled, it still isn't a barrier. In modern times, bikes have become easier to ride. Many require virtually no maintenance and there are a number of cycling classes and easy group rides available to help you get started. Here are some of the main reasons why cycling in your golden years is such a great idea. Maintains your health. Cycling is great for keeping you healthy after 60 years of age. Regular cycling has been shown to reduce the risk of chronic physical illnesses like heart disease. In addition, it can decrease your risk of cancer, type 2 diabetes, and strokes. As you pedal, You'll burn calories and you'll also use your core and other upper body muscles to balance and control the bike, so you'll keep your weight under control. Studies have also shown that cycling keeps you mentally fit. The reason for that is that getting out into the daylight and fresh air for a few hours is always certain to put a big cheesy smile on your face. Cycling can help improve your balance. Between 28 minus 35% of people aged 65 or over will fall each year. According to the WHO, falls like this can have serious consequences, and one way for us to help reduce the chance of them happening is to work on improving our balance. Balance and core stability are non-medical interventions that can significantly lower the risk of falling. Since cycling isolates your glute muscles and stabilizes your core, it is an excellent exercise for improving balance. In your 60s and beyond, maintaining good balance is especially important. If you begin cycling, you'll gain a lot of benefits to your mobility in the long run. You might also end up with tight abs and killer butt cheeks as a happy side effect. Knee problems can be improved by cycling. Cycling is an especially low impact form of exercise that is great for people with weak or arthritic knees since it uses smooth, regular movements and doesn't put a huge amount of stress on the joints. Compared to activities like running or squash, which are high impact and strain on the joints. This is particularly true if you choose an electric bike. 
It's a bike that has an electric motor that provides assistance to your legs as you pedal. I'll talk more about these in a moment. You can adjust the power as you ride, so you can take even more strain off your knee joints. For instance, giving more assistance on ascents and easing back on the motor on descents to conserve battery life. It's fun to ride a bike when you're happy. It's official. Cycling happiness exists. Read on if you've ever wondered why you're so happy biking. The Mental Health Foundation UK says that cycling boosts your mood in the same way that all physical exercise makes you feel better by affecting the release and uptake of chemicals in your brain that make you feel good. In addition to reducing stress, cycling boosts self-esteem, reduces depression and anxiety more effectively than medication, and alleviates and reduces the risk of dementia. Stunning. I'm happy just saying that. Get in touch with other cyclists. Cycling can also help you meet new people with similar interests. Groups can range from casual groups of bikers to cycling clubs and meetups. If you've just retired and left the office behind, this can be a really important consideration when you're in your 60 seconds. Bike rides with friends are a great way to keep yourself motivated and meet new people with similar interests. Cycling tips for older riders. Getting started cycling is the most important first step regardless of whether you're 60, 70, or any other age. We already came to an agreement on this, so I won't go on and on about it. As Nike says, just do it. Surely you understand. We have looked at all the reasons why cycling in your senior years is so healthy for you physically, mentally, and socially. We will now discuss how to start cycling and why you should. Getting started with cycling, a bicycle training program for seniors. Firstly, Riding a bike is not something you should be afraid of. A nearby program teaches adults how to ride and the skills they need to ride on the road. The Bicycle Friendly America program is a good starting point in the U.S. The company's website lists bike shops, clubs, classes, events, and bike instructors in communities across the country. You will find lots of knowledgeable and friendly people who want to see you ride a bike safely and with a smile on your face. Bicycling instructors can teach adults to ride regardless of whether they have cycled in the past or if they have never cycled before. Get a bike. Make sure you budget for essential accessories such as a helmet, lights, and a lock. Consider renting before you buy a bike if your city has a bike share program. You may be able to purchase a bike for an extremely low price through a bicycle recycle program near you. Take any bikes that interest you out for a test ride at your local bike shop before purchasing a new bike. You can find the right bike for you and your budget, the correct size and style for your needs, and make any final adjustments to maximize your comfort at a bike shop. The best recommendation I can give you is to get yourself an electric bike. This has been around for quite some time, but the market has exploded in the past few years. E-bikes or push bikes equipped with each electric motor is equipped with a battery and an electric motor. It is often hard to tell that they have motors, since all the technology is neatly integrated into the frame and wheel hubs. If you press down on the pedals though, you'll soon notice the difference. This is how pedal assist bikes work. Electric bikes give you an extra boost as you pedal, so you can travel much farther and climb much steeper hills than you would be able to do on a non-electric bike. For people over 60, that can mean the difference between cycling and staying put on the couch. Those who own e-bikes travel more miles than those who own push bikes. Does that sound right? You should consider your physical needs. No matter how physically fit we were in our youth, our agility and suppleness can decrease as we age. There are now many bike manufacturers that offer models that are specifically designed for women, seniors, and people with physical limitations. Especially if you're learning to ride for the first time or haven't ridden in a while. A fast racer, Road bike may not be the best choice. The upright riding position of cruiser or hybrid bikes makes them very manageable and they are designed for comfort. If you find it difficult to balance on two wheels, you might also consider a three-wheeler. Don't worry, they're no longer just for kids. You may find it difficult to lift your leg over a high crossbar, so look for a low step through bike that can be useful for all ages and genders. How to find easy and accessible places to start riding. If you're nervous or a bit wobbly when you first start riding, roads can be a frightening place. It is a good idea to find places to ride that are easy to get to and where you feel safe. You can find bike maps of your area and ask your local bike shop for traffic-free routes. Many organizations that offer cycling classes also offer group rides, which are usually free of charge. In addition, be on the lookout for community bike rides 
many of which take place on roads that are close to motorized traffic. Learning to maintain your bike. As a sturdy vehicle, bikes have all their parts visible and are easily repaired. Unlike cars and motorbikes, you should first learn how to clean your bike and change a flat tire. A good bike shop will be able to show you how to do this and can also perform regular maintenance on your bike. By doing this, you will be able to go riding without worrying about being stranded due to a poorly maintained bike. An emergency tire repair kit and multi-tool will cover most roadside repairs. When cycling at night, make sure you have a white light on the front of your bike and a red light on the back. Bring fresh batteries with you always. Rest. Like me, you tend to jump into things with both feet. That's fine when you're young, but when you've got a few more miles under your belt, rest is just as valuable as exercise. Don't forget to give yourself time to recover after a big cycle and to stay properly hydrated. Get plenty of protein to build your muscles and get a good night's sleep to allow your body to heal. If you don't take good care of your body while cycling, you will put yourself at risk of injury. Follow the rules of the road. In the U.S. and many other countries, bicyclists are expected to follow the same rules as drivers of other vehicles. Before you go out, find out what the rules are in your area. When you're riding your bike, communicate with others who share the road with you. Make eye contact with them and use hand signals to let them know what you are going to do. A simple gesture, like extending your right or left arm to signal a turn, can help you avoid a collision. Motivating yourself to ride a bike. Using your bicycle for everyday transportation is the easiest way to get into the habit of cycling regularly. Visit your friends, pick up groceries, and go to the beach. Finding a cycling buddy through a local bike club or persuading one of your friends to take up cycling can be a great way to make your bike ride more enjoyable, whether it's for work or for fun. Explore new places on your bike ride. You can cycle in cities as well as the countryside. If you become comfortable on your bike, why not take part in a charity ride or park cycle? Biking is a great way to stay motivated and experience the great outdoors. As a 77-year-old, I truly believe cycling is made for us older people, young at heart but physically not what we used to be. With a new electric bike, you will be climbing hills and going for all-day trips without ever trying. If you ever talk to a senior like me that bikes, you will find it takes over our lives while it prolongs and brings great enjoyment to it as well. I'll look for you on the trail.